welcome. Uh, today is March 17th, 2020, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. Okay, <clears throat> I hope everyone is doing well for today, um, and happy St. Patty's Day for those who celebrate, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what are the energies like for this collective. Dear Spirit, Source, and Universe, and all the powers that may be, please use me as a clear channel to receive the most truthful and accurate information in regards to the masculine and feminine collective. Please remove all ego from this reading so I can use my discernment so I can interpret the messages clearly and accurately. Please bless this reading. Spirit, what is the current overall energy of our masculines and feminines? And what is the energy towards each other? What is the current overall energy, please? Say? Okay. For masculines, we have a dove spirit. Be peace. So overall, you know, Masculines is trying to establish some sort of peace within their current physical uh, daily life. I feel that this Masculine is working on some sort of a beginning, okay, making a decision and collaborating with other people. That's the feeling I'm getting. And towards the feminine, well, we have Moth Spirit. Surrender now. Guys, I've never pulled this card before. What I'm feeling is that this masculine is learning to just surrender to the divine and towards the feminine. That's really interesting. Wow. So, you know, I feel like from yesterday and today, it, it feels like this masculine is just uh, letting go and going with the flow. They're surrendering uh, to uh, outcomes and, you know, controlling uh, situations. That's the feeling that I'm getting. There is a, a lot of red energy here. I feel like this masculine is more grounded. Okay, perhaps uh, they're feeling more stable. Okay, and moths um, are nocturnal uh, insects. Okay, and uh, they are attracted towards the light. So I feel like this masculine is surrendering to the light of the divine feminine. With the feminine, we have a flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. So feminines, I feel like, you know, you're in between two worlds from what I can feel, making those decisions in regards to love, okay? And also working on yourself. I feel that feminines, you really need to focus on self-love. That's the feel I'm getting. And flamingos is, is a sign of um, good luck. That's what I'm seeing. And guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, I did post a picture of a bird that I saw this morning, and it's kind of ironic uh, that I'm seeing here two birds, okay? Um, one is a dove and one is a flamingo. Obviously, I haven't seen both. <laughs> I just saw a sparrow. But uh, birds uh, is a really strong uh, symbology for today, okay? And towards the masculine, we have electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. So, feminines, I really feel like whatever that you have been thinking, you're manifesting, okay? That's the film getting, wow. So, let's go ahead and see what is uh, the underlying energy with this masculine and feminine. What is the underlying energy, please, Spirit, for this masculine and feminine collective? Please reveal to me a little bit more about what the masculines and feminines are currently going through. 
And where are they going through towards each other? Masculines, they're in isolation, okay? They're trying to be at peace uh, through this period of isolation, possibly because of this coronavirus, okay? And if this masculine is perhaps married, they are, they're currently feeling isolated, okay? And they're trying to find peace within uh, this energy. That's a feeling I'm getting, you know? Again, there is an invitation Okay, that was, uh, you know, given towards this masculine. But I feel like this masculine isn't taking that invitation. They're deciding to become more isolated. And they're having peace with it. That's the feeling that I'm getting. They'd rather be alone. <laughs> That's the feeling that I'm getting, guys. And towards the feminine, we have service. I really feel that, you know, this masculine is trying to surrender to be of service towards the feminine. I feel like this masculine wants to nurture the feminine. And as this masculine is going through some sort of isolation, they're trying to find peace within their current circumstance and just going with the flow. Okay. And I really feel like this masculine definitely wants to take care of you, feminine. Okay, or an elder. Okay, because most of uh, the ones who are suffering from this coronavirus is actually uh, the elders. Okay, that's the feeling I'm getting. This masculine wants to help you, feminine. They want to take care of you. Very like mothering feeling. Okay, that's the feeling I'm getting. If your masculine, uh, you know, is really good at, um, you know, um, taking care of people in a community, uh, you know, more or less like in a medical field. That's the feeling that I'm getting, especially if, if they're all for community-based uh, things. This masculine is is giving in to spirit. That's the feeling I'm getting, so they can come forward towards you. Wow, I really feel like if your masculine has um, some uh, loved ones that have passed on. Those, uh, those people, okay, or spirits, are actually assisting your masculine to really think about offering their service towards you. That's what I'm feeling, guys. It's really beautiful. And with the feminine, we have enlightenment. So, feminines, you've become awakened, okay, about this in-between period. And I'll... With this coronavirus, okay, and the coronavirus seems to be a strong topic in today's reading, you know, I really feel that, you know, because of, you know, you taking things a little bit slower and you're feeling like in between, not being here nor there, you're, you're becoming more enlightened towards your spiritual awakening, okay? And I really feel like it, it's really for the collective. Both masculines and feminines are both feeling this way. Taking time out to really reflect instead of being so busy, you know, not really addressing uh, some of those feelings that you guys have for each other. I feel like you're awakened uh, about this transition that you're going through, femmes, okay? Now, towards the masculine, we have mysticism. <laughs> You know, I really feel like feminines, um, you know, you're more spiritually awakened than your masculine. And I really feel that through your spirituality, okay, and powers of manifestation, you're bringing your ideas to life so that you can manifest your masculine back into your existence, okay? You have become enlightened about this in-between period of what this coronavirus is doing for you in your present moment. It, it's bringing you some sort of awareness. It's, it's causing you to focus more on the connection with your masculine. Masculines are surrendering, okay? They want to help you, you know, if you're sick, if you need supplies. They're really thinking about, you know, helping you. They want to, you know, be that masculine energy for you, feminine. That's the feeling I'm getting. Right now, they're isolated and they're okay with it. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. So let me go ahead and pull some tea leaf oracles and see what else. Spirit, what is the energy of this masculine towards their feminine? 
What is the energy, please, spirit, of this masculine towards their feminine? What is the energy of this masculine towards their feminine? What is the energy of this masculine towards their feminine? What is the energy, please, spirit? Wow. There's a lot on this masculine's uh, energy towards the feminine today. What is the energy of this masculine towards the feminine? Okay. Good advice from a wise person, an owl, okay? Again, another bird uh, symbology here that came through. I feel like this masculine is perhaps getting some good advice from an elder, okay, that they're currently servicing. You know, they could be working uh, in the medical field and they're learning a lot from taking care of these old people, okay? Well, um, aged, you know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm not saying old, okay? Um, mature. <laughs> That's the feeling that I'm getting, okay? Also, a stubborn, aggressive person. So perhaps your masculine is still a bit stubborn, okay? They could be uh, dealing with an aggressive person. That could be you, feminine, okay? But, you know, this masculine's energy is they're a little bit stubborn, okay, right now. You know, they're trying to find peace within themselves. That's why they're isolating themselves. Also, we have ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. Well, this masculine is possibly uh, thinking about marriage, okay? Or perhaps something romantic, okay? This could be for business. It is uh, some sort of commitment, that this masculine, okay, wants to do towards you, feminine, okay? But they're being stubborn about it. They're, they're getting some good advice from an elder, okay? That's what I'm seeing. And, you know, they're they're like, they hear, they hear the message from this elder, but, you know, they're a little bit stubborn to take the advice. That's the feeling that I'm getting. And here we have unsuccessful outcome to a problem, okay? And we have a broken bridge. So I really feel that because of this masculine's stubbornness, okay, of uh, possibly, um, you know, having some sort of commitment with you, there is uh, going to be a problem, okay, when this masculine doesn't follow through. That's the film getting. So this is uh, an omen, okay? That's the film getting. And here we have flowers, happiness, guys, you know, again, another bird. <laughs> and this bird that I saw this morning, it first landed into my flowers. And then I hopped up on the ledge and it was like, Di -di 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 -di, you know, making bird noises. And it was beautiful this morning, you know. But, you know, there's happiness with this masculine some way or somehow. You know, what I'm also feeling here is that there is an unsuccessful outcome to a marriage that had taken place for this masculine, and that's why this masculine is happy, okay? That was another download that I just uh, received. Also, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So this masculine is being a shark, okay? Um, I feel like they need to manage their finances, especially right now with things uh, being a little bit turbulent from what I can feel, okay? They need to be mindful of their expenses. That's the feel I'm getting. Also, we have something important, such as a new job or a raise, okay? So I really feel that you know, there's a lot that's going on with this masculine, okay? Uh, so much, you know, there could be a new job, you know, possibly because this masculine is in the medical field and because that um, they're increasing their hours because of, you know, them taking care of elder uh, people or just people in general. It doesn't have to be um, the elders, okay? <laughs> 
I really feel like it, it's someone who is working in the community, who's always out in the community, who's always working uh, with other people. Okay, there is uh, something that's coming out uh, from this uh, chaos that we're going through. Okay, where uh, they could have like additional income, a new job. Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting, and they're being mindful of all this change. Okay, it could be expenses. You know, maybe uh, they're getting a bonus check, you know, but they, they need to be wary of what they're spending. That's the feeling that I'm getting. There's a lot that's going on with this masculine today. And that's what I'm seeing. And also we have Peacock, another bird. Beware of great pride. So again, this masculine, okay, they're at peace. They're isolated, okay. But in the midst, this masculine wants to service you feminines okay i feel like this masculine was talking to an elder a wise person and they've come to realize that they need to surrender and stop being so stubborn when it comes to you you know because i feel like this masculine is like a peacock uh they're very prideful very stubborn and aggressive okay they could be stubborn because of a marital situation you know, and it's affecting the romance and their work life. You know, that's why things are a little bit unsuccessful. But this masculine is happy. I really feel like there's a lot of changes going on with this masculine when it comes to a marriage or commitment that were that they were previously in. I feel like, um, you know, it was unsuccessful, but they're really happy because um, there's something more. They're, they're gaining material wealth. That's the film I'm getting. They're cutting, you know, ties with people. They're taking more care of themselves. There are opportunities that we're giving towards this masculine around this time. And I feel like they're taking it, okay? And there's a little mixture of pride and ego here in the mix, okay? And finally, we have a woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman. <laughs> so masculines, okay, they're currently dealing with a woman in this situation. Okay, this could be the feminine or it could be the karmic. That's what I'm seeing, guys, okay? But this is their energy towards the feminine. That's what I'm seeing. So, feminines, what is your energy towards the masculine? 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 You're being a mystic. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. You're in between worlds. You're in the 5D and the 3D, you know. Maybe you don't want to let the masculine know. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. We have two cards here. We have rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Okay. So rainbows are a sign of auspiciousness. Okay. So I feel like something good uh, is going on with you, feminine. Yes. Again, obstacles to overcome. So you're, you're possibly going through the hills. Okay. You're possibly going through a few obstacles. But what I'm seeing here is that the most difficult part of a situation is over. So you're almost at, at the finish line. Hence the reason why you're trying to em embrace the in-between, okay? When it comes to your enlightenment. Also, whatever your ideas are, okay? You're being mystical, okay? You're not revealing too much today towards the masculine. That's the feel I'm getting. Masculines is, is spilling their beans today. <laughs> You know, they're isolated though, okay? That's what I'm seeing. You know, there's a lot going on with this masculine's energy. So, let's go ahead and see what is their energy towards you? How is this masculine currently thinking of you? How are they feeling? What is it that this masculine wants to do? Where the 
actions they're wanting to take. What is their challenge for today? And what is their outcome towards you? Overall, we have here nine of wands in reverse. If this mask was holding back, they're releasing it, okay? They're no longer putting up a wall towards you. They're surrendering, okay? This mask is learning to surrender now. That's what I'm seeing. They want to help you feminines, okay? They want to be of service, okay? That's, that's what I'm feeling. This mask has isolated themselves to find peace within... Also, we have here Knight of Coins, but it's in reverse. You know, this masculine is, you know, possibly holding back, okay? Even though that they're letting down their guard, they're not uh, rushing in. They're taking things slow. That's a feeling that I'm getting. Because I feel like, you know, this masculine's ego is in a way, hence the reason why, okay? Beware of pride, masculine, okay? You know, your feathers are, are kind of out there from what I can feel, right? <laughs> a lot of mixed emotions for this masculine. And I feel like they're being stubborn and aggressive. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. So, this masculine is also going through some sort of transition. And here we have the moon. This masculine could have uh, some secrets. Okay? Some fears, some worries, some doubts. You know, it could be uh, because of a marriage, a situation here, okay? This could be romantic, or it could be with work. Whatever commitments uh, that they're in, they're, there's some sort of secret that they're not revealing towards the feminine, okay? In regards to this marriage. I really feel that they've received some sort of uh, wise information, okay? Some good advice from an elder, Okay, or someone who is knowledgeable. And it's in regards to their happiness. Okay. But I feel that it has something to do with a job. Okay. Their uh, material wealth. Okay. And, you know, something unsuccessful. Like an unsuccessful outcome to a problem. And I really feel like it has something to do with some sort of commitment, okay? That this masculine is keeping a, a secret. That's the feeling I'm getting. Yeah, because I definitely see that uh, this masculine wants to come forward towards you and reconcile with you, feminine. That's the feeling I'm getting. You know, this masculine is still going through a situation, you know? That's why they're not rushing towards you, feminine. There's still like uh, some sort of unfinished business. But this masculine is alone, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting. And they have made a, a decision, okay? And I feel like this masculine wants to come forward and communicate towards you quickly. That's the feeling I'm getting, okay? This is quick communication that they are trying to change something. Okay, I feel like this masculine is wanting to come forward towards you and they're letting you know that they want to invest into you, feminine. They want to offer you a commitment, hence the reason why, okay? With this ring, I feel like this masculine wants to commit to you. They want to invest into you, feminine. That's the film getting. I feel like they're leaving. They've already isolated themselves or they will isolate themselves from a karmic situation okay this all has something to do with a commitment or a marriage it could be business related because i definitely see like work information is in here when it comes to a new job or a raise they're trying to be mindful of their spending of their material wealth because if they're not careful they could lose something okay there's a lot of change going on with this masculine today they're dealing with a woman over here yeah, because of the devil, okay? I really feel that there is uh, something tied in with this masculine's 
Okay, uh, investments or long-term commitments. Okay, that they're attached to. Perhaps you know, maybe a karmic uh, is trying to get whatever they can from this uh, committed uh, situation. This could be work. You know, I'm feeling it's both, guys. Okay, masculines is getting hit by both work and um, you know a romantic uh, interest or. Um, you know, a spouse or something like that. Okay, that's the film game. I feel like it's both. Very strong today. And I see that this masculine wants to offer you a partnership, okay? This masculine, they're surrendering. They, they want to be with you, feminine, okay? I, I've seen it over and over again. They might come off a little cocky, okay, or a little bit prideful, you know, take it as it resonates, you know, if your masculine is, is a male or female, you know, but their intention is to give in. That's what I'm feeling, because they really want this partnership with you, feminines, okay? That's what I'm seeing, because they know that you're a very mature feminine, okay? And I feel that, you know, this masculine, you know, they... They felt like you were emotionally manipulating them in some way. Possibly you were not really revealing how you feel towards a masculine. Hence the reason why this masculine wants to be a peacock. Okay? Trying to be uh, prideful. You know? That's just to protect themselves, guys. Okay? You know, feminines, you've been hurt so much. You, you were holding back your energy. And I feel like, you know, this masculine might come in a little bit prideful just to protect their ego, okay? But just know this masculine wants to have, like, some sort of marriage with you or a commitment, okay, or a relationship. Or this could be business, okay? Take it however resonates with your situation. Yeah, because I feel like this masculine's traveling towards you, feminines. They're leaving the past behind, Okay. And I see that, you know, this masculine is letting go of, you know, the four coins so they can work on their ten. They want to invest into you. Yes, and again, they want victory. This masculine is feeling good, okay? So things are actually looking good, you know. Masculine could be a little bit in their ego from what I can feel, but that's okay. We all know. <laughs> so how, how is the masculine thinking about you? We have here Eight of Swords. This masculine is trapped in their head. Or they're feeling trapped. Okay. That's how they're thinking. So how are they feeling? We have here uh, Six of Coins in reverse. This masculine feels that, you know, they can't offer you much right now. But they want to be of service towards you. Okay. That's how they're feeling. They, they feel stuck that they can't give you enough. I really feel like if this masculine has taken you for granted and they were uh, the ones who are always taking from you, this masculine now sees that they could have done more. They should have done more. They should have been of service towards you. They should have helped you more. That's the feeling that I'm getting. You know, they're trying to surrender. This masculine is doing a lot of reflecting right now. So what do they want to do towards you? They want to offer you the truth, feminines. They want to be clear, okay? This is what you have been wanting. You wanted transparency. You wanted honesty. You wanted clarity. And that's what your masculine wants to do. They want to give it to you. So what are their actions? We have here Ten of Swords. This masculine, you know, feels like it's the end. Or they're trying to put an end to their old ways for a new and improved masculine. I really feel like if this masculine is returning back towards you, feminine, I feel that they want to start brand new. They, they want to reveal like a different version of themselves, okay? Because they received some good advice from an elder here, okay? And it's about happiness. What makes them happy? You know, there are some changes going on with their uh, job. 
you know, and they, they're they taking a look at their pride and ego and how stubborn that this person was towards you. When this masculine now realizes that they should have been more open towards you, they should have uh, treated you better, they should have treated you fairly, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting here. And I feel like this masculine is either stuck in a marriage or they want to offer you a higher level of commitment. That, that is the main uh, energy that I'm feeling. But there's so much going on with this masculine's life, you know, dealing with uh, finances, with a job, okay? There's something, um, there's something broken, okay, dealing with this masculine. I feel like, you know, divine intervention is happening with this masculine about this broken bridge okay you know i feel that you know something will happen to this masculine if they don't take uh the caution okay of what universe is putting in front of this masculine if they don't make the right decision they're gonna lose something that's the feeling i'm getting okay if if they're not mindful they could be losing money they have to, like, be on alert. So what is their challenge? The wheel, okay? The challenge is to deal with their bad karma. That's what I'm feeling. This could also be a closing out a cycle. They know they have to wrap things up. That's why this masculine is feeling isolated today, and they're at peace with it. They don't care. They really want to focus more on themselves so that they can get their stuff together. You know, like right now, this mask look, um, could be a, a little bit arrogant. You know, yesterday, the feminines were bipolar, but today, it's a masculine's turn. <laughs> feminines today, you're just a, a mystic. You're being secretive today. You're being quiet. <laughs> so, what is the outcome for the masculine towards the feminine? We have Page of Swords. This masculine is watching you. So I feel that this masculine is alone. They're watching you either on social media or just keeping tabs on you, okay, feminines. They're, they're learning to surrender to you. They're coming into a lot of realizations of what they did or didn't do. But I feel like this masculine wants to give more back towards you, but right now they don't have enough to offer. So I feel like, you know, in this period, this masculine is being forced to reflect on their actions. And if this masculine is in a commitment, they could go through a rocky situation. Okay, guys, that's another down and down feeling. They could be going through a rocky situation. It could be about uh, money, from what I can feel. Okay? That's why this masculine is prideful right now and being stubborn towards a woman. That's what I'm feeling, okay? Uh, there's just so much going on with this masculine today with money, their happiness, getting some advice, their attitude, and dealing with a woman. So if you're no communication with your masculine, this could be your masculine dealing with a karmic situation, okay? But if your masculine is communicating to you, I really feel that this masculine's trying to work on themselves, okay? That's the feeling I'm getting. So, let's go ahead and see what is the feminine's energy towards the masculine. How are you currently thinking about the masculine? How are you feeling? What is it that you want to do in the connection? What are the actions you're wanting to take? What is your challenge? And what is the outcome? Overall, we have here six of coins, so feminines, you want balance. You know, perhaps, you know, you, you want, 
you want to communicate to your masculine that you want to compromise. In order to make this a situation work, you're you're willing to have a, like a a compromise, you know, you know, to talk about like your feelings about what you um, accept and don't accept, so that the masculine could be clear. Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting. Also, we have her two of swords. I feel like feminines, you can't make up your mind about the situation dealing with your masculine. Okay. You know, you definitely want, you know, some sort of balance. And I really feel like, you know, it's not about the money. Obviously, it's not that. It's about, you know, the time, focus, and attention about the masculine. That's all the feminines really want because the feminines, they can take care of themselves financially. You know, we don't need a sugar daddy. <laughs> That's the feeling that I'm getting. You just want reciprocity. Also, we have the Empress. Feminines, you're standing in your true power, okay? Like, I feel that, you know, you, you know, you want to create something, okay? Fresh energy with the masculine by standing in your power, okay, with your integrity. And, you know, just putting yourself out there that masculines, you know, if you come to me with some sort of compromise, you know, we can make this work. That's the feeling I'm getting. Yeah, and I see that here, you know. Perhaps, you know, you're going to give your masculine some sort of offer. This could be the masculine giving you an offer. It could be a diamond ring. That's what I'm seeing here. There's a diamond that this masculine is handing or have in their hand. And the reason why we have here marriage will take place, okay? And a romantic or a business a situation so if you can see here it says will a marriage will take place so this is a future energy so this masculine may not be ready to give you an offer now but it's like a promise this masculine is looking forward towards the future that's the feeling i'm getting with that also we have your five of wands feminines you know you're super defensive okay i feel that you know, it's you against the world. <laughs> That's the feeling I'm getting. And you want to get out of this energy with the Nine of Swords in reverse. You know, I feel like feminines, you're trying to gain some sort of enlightenment. Okay? When it comes to the situation, that's why you're trying to embrace the in-between. Because you're going through, uh, you know, through a transitional period. That's a film getting, and, you know, I feel that, you know, perhaps, you know, you just feel like you don't have all the tools necessary to manifest, but here you are towards the masculine, you are a mystic, okay, and what you think uh, will become your reality. Bring your ideas to life, feminines, to your mysticism, okay, so, you know, get out of this energy, okay, and be the magician in the upright. That's what I'm feeling. Why? Because we have here justice in reverse. You feel like, you know, nothing is ever going right towards you, okay? And perhaps you're just waiting for your masculine to get a divorce or, you know, separate from uh, an ex-person, okay? You want confirmation. That's the feeling I'm getting. That's why you feel like you can't manifest this coming together with your masculine. And you're trying to release whatever um, attachments that you may have towards the masculine, maybe attachments towards outcomes, but really clear, clearing up your situation, okay? So you can manifest this because you definitely want to have a commitment with your person. You want marriage, you know, and I see that the masculine wants it too. Both of you guys want to be together. That's the feeling that I'm getting. But, you know, I see that you're stuck in the past. You know, I feel like you're wishy-washy feminines for today. You're feeling uh, some sort of way, but not sure if the masculine is releasing themselves from a karmic. But get this, feminines. If you want a sign, this masculine is isolated and their tuxedo is hanging in the closet. Okay? They're staring at it. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm seeing, guys. Okay? This tuxedo is uh, sitting in the closet. 
you know, and you're worried about the past. Don't, I would say don't worry about the past, worry about the, the present moment, okay? Don't even worry about the future. Think about now, because today we are living, okay? Yeah, because I also see that you're holding back communication from your masculine. Because you have a guard up. That's what I'm saying. You have a wall up, feminines. Masculines is trying to put their wall down. Feminines, you have your wall up. You know, and I really feel like it's because of a karmic. You know, you have your wall up because you feel that the masculine is still with a karmic situation who is still on to them about money, security, finances, their home. Right now, there there's a situation with the coronavirus, okay, where it's probably not the best financial, uh, you know, financial uh, way of, you know, choosing to jump ship right now, especially now, because, you know, things are a little bit chaotic. That's why you still feel like there's a karmic energy attached to your masculine who is codependent on them for materialism okay that's what i'm feeling and you just can't see the truth you're not very clear on the situation and you're just patiently waiting that's the feel i'm getting from in you know so let's see how are you thinking about the masculine the emperor you're thinking that your masculine is going to plan for the future and they're going to step up by gaining some sort of wisdom I feel like, you know, feminines, you intuitively know that your masculine will will be this emperor. That's how you're thinking. But the masculines, you know, they're stuck in their head. They feel trapped. <laughs> so, how are you feeling? We have temperance in reverse, okay? You're feeling impatient when it comes to a masculine, but in the underlying energy, uh, you're practicing patience. So I really feel like feminines, you feel like you need to practice more patience because right now your energy is like you're in, you have you one foot in and one foot out, okay? Just like uh, the temperance and the traditional tarot, okay? Where they're balancing out of uh, the two cups and having one foot in the water and one foot on land. You know, feminines, if you want like that fairy tale fantasy of your masculine coming back to you today, you're not in the energy of it. You have to raise your vibration and just be in a state of, you know, like uh, happiness, joy, feeling really good. You have to be, you know, very positive. Because I feel like the masculines and feminines for today, that you, your energies are a little off, okay? You guys aren't vibrating um, equally. So what do you want to do? We have here five of swords in reverse, okay? I really feel like, you know, you don't want to fight the situation. You want to get out of your head. Masculines, they want to offer you truth. So I feel like that's really good. So what do you want to do? Knight of Cups in reverse. You want to hold back your feelings. You're holding back your feelings. Masculines, you know, they're going through an ending right now for a new beginning. Okay? They know that things have come to an end. And they want to change. They want to have a new, fresh start with you, feminines. That's what I'm feeling. So what is your challenge? Two of coins, your challenge is to find balance within yourself. That's what I'm seeing. And what is the outcome? Eight of wands in reverse. So you're retracting uh, any form of communication. You're not reaching out to the masculine. You're not communicating, okay? If you are, you're doing it through telepathy, from what I can feel. The masculines, they're watching you, feminines, you're not communicating. <laughs> You know, the masculine's challenge is to uh, have completion to a karmic situation. Feminines, you just need to find balance, okay? You're not balanced. I feel like you're, you're people-pleasing, okay, at this time. You need to, uh, you know, nurture yourself, feminines, okay? Get out of this negative 
uh, thinking, you know, so it, it's a little bit um, from yesterday's reading for the feminine collective into today. The feminines like keep keep uh, keep thinking positive, okay? That's the feeling I'm getting. You have to stay positive if you want to be a vibrational match towards your masculine. Because today this masculine is stuck in their heads. There is uh, some situations that this masculine is going through today, okay? That's what I'm seeing. So let me go ahead and pull some messages that the masculine would like to say to their feminines. And feminines, what are the messages that you would like to say towards your masculine? What are the messages that this masculine feminine would like to express towards each other? The messages, please, spirit. Masculines, I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in those things before. I do now. So again, this masculine is feeling you feminines, okay? They never believed that, you know, uh, this feeling would ever, you know, go away. Or they probably did. They believed that it would go away with time. It would go away. But honestly, they think about you every damn day. Just like the feminines. <laughs> they still feel your energy. Okay? They didn't believe in that, but they do now. And it happened with time. Okay? I still feel deeply connected to you, but I won't admit it exactly. Why? Because this masculine is in this page of swords energy of uh, watching you from a distance, okay? Checking you out, not letting you know that they still watch you, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting here. Also, I'm confused about what I should do about my feelings for you. Well, you know what? Do you want a hint, masculine? Reach out, reach out and touch someone. Call him and say hi. <laughs> Reach out and communicate to your feminine masculine. I mean, she is she or he is not going to bite your hand off, and your feminine would love to hear from you. If you've been thinking about your feminine, about having those cozy, you know, get-togethers, and you know, um, just feeling comfort. You know, like a feeling of home, just uh, with you two in each other's arms. Like, why are you so confused? Why don't you, you know, like really act on your feelings? That's what I'm saying. Don't be prideful or boastful, okay? Don't be stubborn, okay, or aggressive. Why, why are you uh, all in your ego, masculine, when you can have something beautiful, okay, and happy, with your feminine, okay? Especially if you're dealing, you know, with an Asian, okay? Hint, hint, no, I'm playing. <laughs> you know, take good advice from a wise person, okay? That's what I'm seeing. And I see that there is a marriage that will take place between you and your divine counterpart, okay? That's what I'm feeling, you know? Or this could be romantic or business, you know? Take it as it resonates. You know, I feel like as this masculine comes into union with their feminine, there are going to be some opportunities for this masculine to increase their finances. Okay, because why? Spirit will be blessing them as they follow their spiritual path so they can come into union with their feminine. Okay, so that their abundance is flowing towards them. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Because... This masculine has been unsuccessful to whatever problems that, you know, they keep creating for themselves. And they need to take care or there will be a loss in material wealth. And I really feel like that's dealing with a karmic, okay? Because I saw uh, the Queen of Pentacles uh, earlier. Feminines. When times got tough, I gave up on you too soon. Exactly. You know, for the feminines, I feel like it's really difficult to be a masculine because feminines, you know, they were suffering either a loss of their masculine, you know, and the situation was really difficult, especially if the feminine was in their feminine energy and it really, you know, hardened them up to be more masculine. 
That's the film getting. And when it got tough, they gave up too soon. That's why masculines, I feel like you're surrendering and you want to be of service toward your feminine to kind of make up for, you know, the past actions of you not really expressing how you truly feel towards your feminine. You know, you were confused. You're confused about what you should do right now. You know, you still feel deeply about your feminine, but you're not doing anything about it. And you still feel their energy. That's why, you know, feminines, you know, it's just too hard for this feminine to keep hanging on. That's the feeling I'm getting. I feel like you're on the other side of my every breath. So feminines, you know, you also feel that your masculine is with you. Okay? Even in, in spirit, you feel like your masculine is next to you. And finally, my heart keeps coming back to you even though I know you lost faith in me. So I really feel like, you know, if there was a situation between you and the masculine, you want to let the masculine know that your heart keeps coming back to the masculine even though that they have lost faith in this connection. Okay, or possibly you feminines, maybe you have lost faith in the connection, but your heart is calling you back to this divine connection. That's what I'm seeing for today, guys. Wow. So let me go ahead and close out this reading with a goddess power oracle message and see what is of the message that the collective needs to know in this now moment. What is the general guidance message that the masculines and feminines need to know about their connection towards their counterpart? What is the guidance, please, Spirit? What is the guidance message for this masculine and feminine collective? What is a clear message, please, Sarah? What is the message? Scold the future. So I really feel like this is a completion. This is about stability and choosing a love connection, okay? And it has something to do with the future. So let's go ahead and see what this one says. This is a 46. As you set your intentions for the life you desire, the Norse goddess Gold comes to show you glimpses of your future. You experience those magical journey markers as flashes of insight and moments of inspiration, like an echo of something that exists in another dimension. It's fun when things turn out exactly as you predicted, but remember that the essence of your intention means more than its form. The goddess Gold, who rules the destiny of gods and men, says remaining true to the moment is your greatest power exactly that's why i said you know just operate in the present moment don't think about the future or the past allowing the self to evolve as you go and discovering new things today sets the path for destiny to unfold the power of the present and how you respond to life's potential is the potent fertile seed of the future in order to claim the future you must attend to the now even then nothing is guaranteed and everything is infused with magic so here is the alignment message when you become overly fixated on the future, you rob yourself of the capacity to truly co-create a life that is meaningful and rich. It's because doing so gives your power away to something, some destination that has no substance. It's like you are wandering around in a ghostly place that the goddess gold wants you to avoid. Perhaps you have been taught that better things come later, get, like getting uh, to the wonders of heaven after difficulties on earth. The truth is, is that you can get back into alignment, so consider this. 
Your life now and how you respond to it are the seeds that will grow into your future. Your alignment task is to remove all the weeds before they choke the life out of your intentions. Bless your life today. Find the lessons and the conditions of your world and be compassionate to yourself and others. We are all learning to find strength in our most vulnerable selves as the world changes rapidly around us. The goddess gold is with you in all the way and always. This is a beautiful message, you know. Like I said, you know, don't think about the future. Don't think about the past. Think about what you can do today. Even if, you know, masculines and feminines had made wrong decisions of the past, that's the past. You know, if we're truly compassionate people, you know, and we love unconditionally, we can accept it for whatever it is and let go and just be in, in the energy of receptivity, okay? Of making that change today. Every day we can plant new seeds, okay? So I really hope that this uh, reading was helpful for you. Thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can reach me on my website, www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.